Hello everybody, welcome back to our DOT2 special series of tips and tricks video clips. We are in clip number two. In the first clip, ah, my name is Michael Quincy Schumann. I'm from Emmy Lighting Tech Support and yeah. What have we done so far? In the first tips and tricks video of our little DOT2 3D series, we showed the relation between the DOT2 on PC and the DOT2 3D. What's in where, how can I use this? So adding fixtures better in your console and you can visualize them in here. We've seen that and we go on a little bit with that. The last thing I did is I added a color or gel in front of my little dimmer that I have here. Let's say this dimmer that I've got, the name is not top light, it's a profile spot and I want it from the front. So let's say this is a profile. Does that change anything? Oh, edit the second one. I don't want this one. This is my profile. Done. Apply all changes. There it is. Why have I named it profile? Because I want to change the visualization model. I make this a little bit bigger. And let's zoom a little bit closer. As you can see, this is a park hand, and it's not a nice park hand. Let's say I want to change the model. You've seen that we have properties. Properties of this. This is my name, or this is the name of the light, this is the position, and so on. The visualization type, you can see in assets, in your media database. I've talked about this in the first video clip. You see, we have fixtures and there are different visualization types for this. So if I do a right mouse click on here and I say, change please the model. And there you see the same list like you see in here. So I could say this is now a studio Fresnel. And it looks like a studio Fresnel. Other one I like to show you, other model, visualization model, is a generic source 4. Generic source 4 conventional means to us this, because the source 4 is such a, a famous thing, this is our synonym for profile spot. Does that change the beam? No, it hasn't. But in my properties, for this visualization model, I can change the beam angle. And what you can see now as well is the stage is very bright. And in rendering, you could say what is the ambient color, what is the point, right? and I can make this a little bit darker. So in here you can say in rendering, how good the beam quality should be, how good your computer should render this. What in the beam type should be visualized, how is the intensity. If you need it a little bit brighter, you can change that in here. And the intensity, this is better maybe. So you can adjust how you want your lights to be visualized in rendering. And I change the model by clicking a right mouse click, change model, and I selected a generic source for. And for that, we can change the beam angle. So this is also something you could play with in 3D. What tube type does my source for need? For example, 36 degrees. That's good if it's in this height. Great. And the nice thing is, you can put the blades in. But this is something for this visualization type of the dimmer channel. Because for the console, this is a simply dimmer channel. So, you can see, I can use this very nice. And I can even 
rotate my whole blade section, like in the real world. So please check out if you do right mouse click on your conventional or on the dimmer you've, you've patched. This is why I called it profile. Wonderful. Also, they told me you have to tell a little bit more about positioning. Oh, positioning. You can always say, I want to add a stage view. Open new stage view. I've done that already. This is my stage view for the front camera. Oh, it was. And I simply said, give me another stage view. So I can use the front camera on here and another stage view on here. If you like the top one as well, open new stage view. And let's use it from the top. By the way, you see up here in the corner the frames per second that your computer does to visualize all that. So as more objects you add, of course, as harder it is to visualize that in a reasonable frames per second rate that you see it completely. So change the model of things you do, or 3D objects you have in here. Of course, everybody says, well, when does he add moving lights? We want to see moving lights in there. Yes. So let's patch some moving lights. First, I change the fixture ID to, let's say, 11 for my profile, because I always like 1 through 10 for my moving lights. I'm like that. Add new fixture, select others. I want QWOs from Play Party. Why? We use them in all of our tips and tricks videos because they are visualized so nice. And it has a lot of functions that we can see in the visualization software. For me, this is fixture ID 1, please, and I want to add 10 of them. Okay. There you see, I have 10 QWQ2WOs and apply all changes, like I said, not before. There they are, not before you will see them. So, switch off my little profile and say these ones. Full open. There they are. They start at 0, x, 0, y, and 0, z. I make them a little bit higher. Let's change our view on them. Where do I see them best? Maybe in here. So bring them up. All 10 are selected now. So I see all of them. Now I want them from the front view and I would like to see that a little bit better. Like that. All 10 are there. I use the red arrow now to position them to here. And you see, as soon as these arrows are there and you do a left mouse click, you get a line. A line in dot two means fan them up. And now I choose the first line. The first line means keep the first one and spread the other ones. Like you have the function here in the console align. Use this align for positioning. So keep the first one means the first number one stays here and we just by pulling the mouse stretch all 10 to there to place them on stage. Ooh, they are bright. So bring them a little bit. The easy way to arrange some lights. 10 in a row. There are some tools in there how you can arrange your lights better. They are all selected now. You see that they are all yellow. They are still my dimmer. And there are tools and function is arrangement. I want to arrange them. Maybe I use a circle of truss on stage. I arrange them 
or I would like to arrange them in a circle. Well, 10 lights, maybe I need three meters where the radius of my circle starts. Three meters is the end radius, so it's a normal a closed circle. And the start angle is zero degrees and 360 degrees is the end. This should be done in a circle on X and Y, not on Z on the heights. Relative to where they hung at the moment, no, not please. Let's have a try, apply. And you hang them in a circle. If you don't like this, there's an undo. Whoops, like you know it from the console. And now I can use the very normal console things to position. And we gave you other help. And this is a nice working together between the console or the on PC and the 3D. You have a target function in here, a follow function. You get a little red ball and you say all of them to here. And these are storable values. To see it better, you might use the smaller beam angle. That's why I use a zoom on here. They even have an iris. So we can very, very nice do positioning presets. Like I said, these are storable values. You can use this to make very nice positioning presets. Like this, follow him on the body and open the iris up to the max and then we can have a look at our zoom. And there he is. And <laughs> our little dimmer, who should be, oh, who is there? Makes him dark a little bit. And bring our profile up. There he is. Where are our lights? One through ten, please. Bring them up a little and use the same color <coughs> like we used on the conventional. So just to give you an idea what is possible in here and how to do things. So there is a tool that arranges the lights for you. And this is how to position the lights. If you move your circle or if you need a function arrangement, arrange them as a move or as a circle or as a 2D matrix. I hope this has helped you a little bit more. So we will continue the series of tips and tricks for dot two. 3D. Stay tuned, guys. Soon there will be the next video. My name is Michael Quincy Strutman. I'm from Tech Support here at MA Lighting International. Stay tuned. Speak to you soon. Bye.